Hey guys, welcome back to Home Built, and in this episode, we're going to get the Audi V8 bolted up into the Rockstar. All right, so last week you might have uh, followed me and seen that I managed to get the Audi V8 sort of up and sitting in the engine bay of the Rockstar, working out exactly where I need to place it. Um, if you missed that, I'll put a link up above so you can catch up to where we are. And uh, if you're enjoying these videos, please think about subscribing. Uh, it uh, helps and click the little bell icon. It will notify you when I place up another crazy video. Now, uh, this week, basically my prime goal is to get this thing bolted in. So that means I need to change the gearbox mounts. I need to uh, modify them. I need to lower the gearbox mounts by about two inches. And uh, I also need to build a whole subframe to actually hold the engine in the car. So, um, Let's uh, get the everything sort of back roughly into place again and uh, start working out how we're going to do all this. All right, so then I was trying to remove this uh, the, the arm off of the bottom of the gearbox mount, and um, yeah, I could not undo this nut while the thing's on here. I I should have looked at it and actually undone the uh, the bolts and taken the whole mount off and then try and take it off on the table. As it was, I was pushing against the rubber seal and I've completely trashed this mount. Um, the other one's still, you know, reasonably solid, but I'll probably get a couple of new mounts anyway. But uh, that's not my priority at the moment. The priority is, is, is um, uh, altering this bar. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the mounts off, uh, cut it and lower it by about two inches and um, put it back in again. So just to clarify, the reason that I need to lower these gearbox mounts is because the Audi engine sits about two inches lower in the car than the original Boxster engine does. Um, that's just a clearance issue, and uh, to get it to sit nicely, you need to lower the uh, the gearbox down to get it to sit flat. There's still plenty of travel in the drive shafts, so um, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so I took the mounts off for the gearbox and uh, you can see these arms. I've cut them and I've lowered them uh, a bit less than two inches, but about 47 mil roughly what I, I sort of chose to lower them. Lowered them both the same. I've cut out a couple of pieces of uh, reinforcing that I'm going to now weld over the top and uh, tie this all up so that it's nice and solid, not going anywhere and uh, move on. All right, I just whacked a bit of paint on these and uh, they've all been welded up uh, all the way around. So they're nice and solid. They're not gonna go anywhere. Uh, I'm happy with them. I'm happy that they're just as strong as what they were originally. So uh, now it's time to try and get that engine back into the engine bay and uh, see what we're gonna do about making a subframe. All right, the engine's sitting back in the car now. You can see these studs hanging down here. That's where the factory Porsche engine mount uh, bolted up. And I need to build something to connect onto them that runs along the side of the engine and then connects into these engine mounts, the factory engine mounts for the Audi engine. So that is what I need to start putting together now. All right, so I spent a bit of time then. I went through and I've uh, I've drilled a couple of holes to make my base plates up. And um, 
the base plate, it's got a, uh, a locating lug as well as a, like a locating nub. Uh, so I've drilled them in so that it fits in and the, uh, the locating hole sits in nice and solid. That is uh, the way I want to have the bases. But now I want to cut out a couple of circles and it's a it's big heavy uh, six mil plate. So I'm going to use the plasma and a little tip I got from uh, Urchfab actually. Um, to cut circles, what I've done is uh, I've made a little, uh, a little thing up that sits onto my plasma cutter, like so, and I can stick the, the, uh, the bolt through the piece I want to do and then swing it around and actually cut a nice even hole out of my plate. So let's see how this works. So I cut out my bases and I've uh, screwed them back onto the engine mounts. They're not the prettiest, most perfect circles, but they do. Um, they're going to be nice and solid now, so I'm going to bolt these back in the car. So I've got this part located. Uh, and then I need to make that uh, cross brace piece of angle iron to bolt in where the front engine mount is going to go. Alright, that was a whole lot of work for one mount. So first of all, I built my, uh, my initial mount out of angle iron. This, this is obviously to bolt up sort of underneath, like so, where the original Porsche mount mounted. The, re the issue I came up with was, was A, um, the studs that are coming out of there were too long, so I had to put a spacer in there because there's a, uh, the threads sort of started down much lower. Um, but also, because of the, the width of this, I wouldn't be able to get a nut up tight up to the uh, into the angle. So I scrapped that idea and I was coming up with different options. I then got a piece of square tube that at first was great, but then it's too thick for the studs to go through. So then I cut it down on either side and um, I did some, some very pretty welds. I'm quite happy with the welds, but uh, yeah, I, uh, I basically cut, notched, and, uh, and made a overcomplicated bracket because I didn't want to go and get some more steel, which I ended up, I needed to do anyway to do the rest of the uh, uh, subframe, but this needed to be 50 mil wide to be able to fit the bolts in. So long story short, this is an overcomplicated way of uh, making the, uh, the front mount for the subframe, but this should do the job nicely. So let's bolt this in and keep moving forward on the, um, adding bits to all of the bolting points. Okay, so the next uh, thing I need to tackle is uh, making the other end of the subframe mount, which I'm going to mount up. Um, if you can still see where my hands are in here, this is actually the uh, sort of uh, a down point that holds the lower suspension arms that uh, originally uh, actually had the factory uh, cross brace so this uh, big arm here would bolt between the two sides of the car and this obviously helped with uh, the rigidity underneath the engine holding it all together because I've lowered the engine down this is no longer going to fit so the subframe is going to double up as being that I mean this is just uh, made out of some press sheet metal it's actually pretty lightweight uh, it's just a couple of bits that have uh, been welded together but uh, we're going to replace this with the subframe because these two mounting places, this is where they bolted up, they're not level, they're not in line, they're on angles. So what I've done is I've made, I've cut out four of these little box sections which will bolt on uh, individually and then I'll make mounts now to uh, join these together. So.
So you can see here, um, here's the lower mount, here's the upper mount where I've screwed them on. I've uh, ground them back. This middle bar is just sitting in there, but I've cut it out nicely so it will sit in beautifully where it needs to go. If I can get it back in. That's pretty much ready to go. I need to um, tack that in, but let's just go and get the other side ready. Uh, same thing again. All right, you can see this here, there's, there's my mount on this side. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run another tube underneath and that's gonna be my cross brace. So I need to tie this new tube up to these bits that I've already welded, which means I need to make some down, uh, I'm gonna make some angled down legs coming down to join up to my lower tube. So uh, let's cut them out now and uh, see how we go joining them all together. All right, so now uh, this is where the bolting face is. So these bolt on uh, in that angle there. And now I've got an inward facing leg of my frame. And I've got that on both sides. So these will sit on either side with a bar underneath. So um, we're getting there on the subframe. It's a lot of work doing all this fabrication, but um, now all we need to do is bolt these, let them cool down a bit first, bolt them back in the car and uh, build the cross brace for the underside of that to join the two together. Okay, this is uh, the mount under the suspension point uh, near the back, near the gearbox. As you can see, that's where I bolted it on. It comes down, joins up to uh, the bar here. It goes underneath the engine all the way across, creating a subframe. Then I've welded these side bars on all the way down. They come down to the front here, sitting underneath the engine mount. So I've got to build a standoff and uh, weld it onto this base plate that I made for the engine mount. So that should be pretty straightforward. And then, that's the, uh, the mount I made to bolt into the factory position. And then I've got these two arms here that come across, join up to my subframe. As you can see, go back there. It comes all the way across and I've done the same thing on the other side. So we actually have a subframe that goes all the way around. Basically it's a box all the way around the engine and the engine mounts will sit right here on either side and it bolts up in the back there to the uh, suspension point. So I'm very happy with the design of that subframe. Um, but I have run out of MIG wire. So as you can see, I'm absolutely filthy. I've been pushing. Um, it's been a couple of days. I've uh, spent way more time on this this week than I was going to, but I really wanted to get that finished. And now I'm out of the MIG wire. I just, there's, there's no more time in the day to go and get more. So we will have to button that up next week, but I'm mostly there. I am going to have to uh, modify there's another mount on the front of the engine. I was watching uh, Jace Wilkes this week. If you haven't checked out his uh, channel, you should check it out. He's putting basically the same engine into a Cayman, uh, a 987 Cayman, and there's a few differences in the Cayman fitting it in, but uh, somebody else who used a similar subframe to what he used and found the engine moved too much without that front uh, extra stabilizer in there. So I'm going to make sure I connect that up as well as part of the subframe, but that can all be covered next week. And um, while you're at it, if you're looking at our crazy engine conversions, you have to go and check out Mike on uh, Wrench. His YouTube channel is going really well. Uh, he's putting a Subaru engine in uh, an old 69, 911 ST, something like that, or a Subaru uh, twin turbo engine into, the, into that thing. Very cool. Check it out. And um, anyway, um, if you're enjoying this, as usual, all the usual things, uh, join us on Patreon um, to help us out. Watch the videos a day early, ad-free. And if you need to buy parts for any of your Porsches, make sure you compare prices at PorschePartsByJeff.com first. All right, guys, we'll see you next week.